everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. This is my second video to film in this series today. If you are new, this is the 12 Days of Christmas um, little series I have going on. And for the 12 Days of Christmas this year, I decided every day to post a video for 12 days of my top five items. Today's video is my top five eyeshadow palettes and whew, I thought this one was going to be harder than it was because I pretty much know things I can't live without and these are my top five and I didn't cheat today. There are literally five. I will list the playlist below and I'll link some videos in cards that way you can see some other videos that I have done so far in the series. But let's talk about my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. And like I've said, I think every day in this series, let me know what your favorite palette is in the comments below. Cause I love hearing you guys. I love hearing your recommendations, everything. Like that's my favorite part about YouTube, honestly, is interacting with y'all in the comments. So let's go ahead and jump in. I think I'm gonna do this one different than I've done any of the others. I think I'm gonna go in order of how much I love these products. So my t top number one pick for eyeshadow formula, and I've only ever tried the matte version, but the mattes in the Visart palettes, this is the Visart neutral matte palette. I've had this over a year. I love this. I feel like I reach for this to add in shades to every look almost. Like I always, almost every day, at least pull one shade out of this palette. The formula is impeccable. You, Whenever you get this palette, you're gonna be like, man, look at the like palette, it's not cute. When you swatch them, they're not amazing. But the blendability, the wear time on your eyes, the way they just blend seamlessly is what I love about these size art palettes. I know that people are that are professional makeup artists swear by these and I totally understand why. This is an amazing, amazing formula. It is more on the pricey side. These are $80. I personally got mine when it was 20% off at the Rouge event last year. But um, so that made them like seven dollars i mean i'm thinking like when i do the math honestly if i were to pick out 12 makeup geek eyeshadows and buy a palette like a z palette to petal man it would cost more than this so the quality quality is just bar none honestly i love this this is all i have on my eyes today i don't have any additional eyeshadows i very rarely do all matte looks like this but today i was just feeling it because i wanted my lipstick to speak for itself. So that is my number one. And then, okay, as far as formula goes, you guys, number two, I hate to start out with two like super high end um, eyeshadows, but if you can, do yourself a favor and get you a Tom Ford quad. This is Cognac Stable. This is the only one I have. Actually, this was gifted by one of you guys to me and oh my gosh how I love this palette. I love it because one of you guys gifted it to me and I love the formula of these eyeshadows. I personally, I'm 34, so I personally don't believe in that you can't wear glitter or shimmer on your lids, but I know what people are talking about when they say that because if you have more mature eyelids, you know, it can get crepey looking and when you add a glittery or shimmery shadow, it doesn't look the best. However, this one right here, it's, uh, it is super shimmery and me almost metallic, but it look, it still looks amazing and it doesn't add any, it doesn't accentuate the lines on your lids. Look at this. I can't help but look in the viewfinder at this eyeshadow. It is absolutely stunning on the lid and if you want to splurge for Christmas for yourself or ask for it for Valentine's Day from your husband or boyfriend or whatever, it's worth the splurge for sure. And then one that is pretty oddly similar to that, and it's also in my top five. It's not a duplicate or anything like that, but the colors are the same and you can kind of get the same look with this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad and Copper Chic. I have spoke about this so many times on my channel just because I love this quad so, so much. And 
the deal is there's no mattes in this. If you put this brown shade, even though in the swatch it's going to look shimmery, if you buff it out into the crease, it really can work and look kind of matte in the crease as like a transition color. But I mean, I, like I said, they're not duplicates, but they are very similar and you can get a very similar look. And this is one of my top favorite palettes. I reach for this all year long, but especially in um, fall and winter, I dig this palette. You need it. Oh, show. And then I had done a, I forgot what I called it. I think I called it like um, Holy Grail Makeup Items. And I mentioned this next palette because honestly, the, the other three that I mentioned, for me, they, I don't know. They don't contain everything you need for a complete look. If you want a shimmer shadow on the lid, some mattes in the crease, a nice brow bone highlight, those other three that I, I have a totally bad itch right here. Those other three that I mentioned aren't going to be like an all-in-one palette. And this next one is for me. I can create so many different looks with this palette. It's the Laura Mercier Artist 2 palette. It was limited edition, but it is back and permanent, I believe. I just love this because it has some purples, which I love purple eyeshadows, honestly, on every eye color. Um, but it also has some very neutral-esque browns. It has a shimmery brow bone highlight, a matte brow bone highlight. I mean, it's just, it has a great color for darkening up. This palette, you can just create so many looks. It's so versatile that it's, it's definitely one of my Holy Girl palettes, and I highly recommend it. And then the very last one is one, I have tried so many Morphe palettes, honestly, and I was just, the, the first three, the first two that I got, I didn't like. It's like they didn't stay on my eyelids. However, I think they might have changed the formula or something because the Morphe 35O palette is everything that I would want in a palette. The shadows last on my eyes. They are very blendable, very easy to work with, and this palette legitimately has every color that you would need. Not only does it have gorgeous warm shades, but it also has some cooler tone shades thrown in there where you can get a cool tone eye look as well. I love this palette and I know it goes in and out of stock very frequently. If it's in stock right now, I will link it below. If it's not, I do have a video where I used the Morphe 35O on one eye and then Makeup Geek Shadows on the other eye. So you can kind of, there's a lot of duplicates in here is what I'm saying. But if you can get your hands on this one, it's such an amazing value that it definitely is worth kind of stalking the website even though it's very frustrating and annoying. You guys hear me preach about this all the time. I just get annoyed with that with makeup brands. But I do love this palette, and it's one of my favorites, so I had to mention it in this top five video. And that is it for my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.